Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about starch. Starch is basically a mixture of glucose that plants synthesize. Now, why do plants synthesize it? Because starch is the food reserve for plants. Common example is potato, tubers in general. So this is my plant cell. We have a nucleus, cytoplasm. Starch is stored in the form of granules. Okay. Now these granules are insoluble and are made up of two components. Starch is basically made up of alpha amylose and amylopectin. Both have different structures and that is what biochemistry is related to. So we'll study these two components in detail. So this is the biochemical structure of alpha amylose. So basically alpha amylose is a linear unbranched polymer of several D-glucose residues linked by alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic bond. We have a D-glucose here and D-glucose here, right? And N number of glucose are linked together in a linear form. That polymer is known as alpha amylose. Now why alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic link bond? In this glucose, this is the first carbon, right? Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth carbon. Similarly, in the second glucose molecule, we have first carbon, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So, so where is the link formed? It's between one of first glucose residue and fourth of second glucose residue. So, it's alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. This bond is known as alpha bond. That is the alpha amylose structure, amylopectin. So this is the structure of amylopectin. I know it's a little complicated. Okay, so amylopectin also has lots of glucose residues, but the difference is it is branched, right? So we have the same alpha amylose with alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond, right? The branch is formed at alpha 1,6 branch point. And what does that mean? First carbon of this is joining to the sixth carbon of this glucose residue. So that forms alpha 1,6 branch point and it will keep on elongating, but it's not linear, it is branched. So this alpha 1,6 branch point will occur after every 24 to 30 glucose residue. Amylopectin is 
normally made up of 10 raised to 6 glucose residues. 10 raised to 6, it's a very big number. Thus, myelopectin is the largest molecule in nature. Starch forms the main part of human's diet. So, they digest it accordingly. The digestion of the starch begins in the mouth where saliva is there. Now saliva has amylase. Amylase as in an enzyme which will digest amylose. Okay. These are the other names for saliva. So this enzyme will digest all alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic bonds except the outermost bonds and those next two branches the internal alpha 1 to 4 glycosidic bonds are digested by amylase okay now from uh, mouth the food reaches to stomach where amylase is inactivated okay but at the same time the the length of the starch is reduced. It is inactivated because of acidity and uh, the exact length is less than 8 glucose residues. So, if this is my stomach, the molecules, the starch is at least 8 glucose residue which needs to be further broken down, okay? Further from stomach those eight glucose residue molecules are proceeded in the small intestine where pancreatic alpha amylase comes into picture and plays its role. So the starch which was eight glucose residue is broken down by pancreatic alpha amylase into a mixture of something. Now this mixture is made up of maltose, maltotriose and dextrins. Maltose is a basic sugar. Maltotriose is a trisaccharide. Dextrin is oligosaccharide. Once these are made further enzymes from brush border membrane of intestinal mucosa these enzymes are released alpha glucosidase alpha dextrinase sucrase and lactase in infants these enzymes further react on those molecules and break it down the end result is after the action of these enzymes the monosaccharides are absorbed by the intestine and transported to the blood. So this was the basic mechanism of how humans digest starch. Let's look at the uses of starch. So the first use is, it is used in the preparation of pre-packed grated cheese for reducing the sweating and the binding. It is used as an ingredient for making jellies, cakes, etc. Third use, starch is used to make food for cattle, pigs and poultry. Fourth use, starch products are used in uh, paper bags, tissues, packaging etc. 
when starch is used, the printability and writing properties of paper is improved. So these are the few uses of the starch. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.